Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Collector Xenoceratops. Now, Xenoceratops was a centrosaurine ceratopsid dinosaur from the late Cretaceous of Alberta, specifically from the Foremost Formation, which is dated to around 78 to 77 million years ago. Okay, so this is a really obscure genus of ceratopsid and I really applaud Collector for going with such a strange and unknown dinosaur to make a figure of and they did a really spectacular job. The colour scheme is so striking and that's my favourite part about this model. The whole zebra motif I think looks really cool and it makes it stand out on the shelf. It's really cool. So starting off with the head sculpt, you can see the very distinct uh, outwards and downwards cur curving uh, brow horns of Xenoceratops. And the nose horn isn't much of a horn, it's just a ridge. It's been done in red, which really contrasts with um, the black and white. And I think that looks really cool. Got the beak here, and you can see they've even sculpted a tongue in there. You can just barely make that out. Uh, the horns have been painted all black. It, I think it would have been nice if they painted them a slightly different colour, but I think what we got is fine. Is the frill. Uh, again, really, really striking coloration on that frill. And you can see the, the parietal spikes, I believe these are called for Ceratopsians, which are distinct for Xenoceratops, uh, outwardly projecting to the sides from these, these two. These are the parietal two or threes? I think these are parietal twos. I'm not as up to date on my ceratopsid knowledge as I probably should be, but I think peri parietal spikes is basically what you need to know, is, is what they are called. And then moving on to the feet. Now the front feet are pretty much spot on. They've got three claws or hooves but five toes. Two of them don't have claws and are basically vestigial, so the front feet are good. The back feet are probably the only accuracy issue on this model. They have the right number of toes and claws. They've got four toes, and they did all have claws, but they weren't all for walking on. You can also see uh, there's the cloaca there. I don't know why Collector always adds on uh, color to the cloaca, but Either way, there it is. Uh, you can see here they've got some speculative quills along uh, the hips here, leading down into the tail, which is appropriately positioned. It's uh, they uh, ceratopsids have that downwards curving tail that all dinosaur reconstructions all had, but is actually accurate for ceratopsids. So that's really cool. And uh, the white paint on here looks really cool, contrasted against the black on the majority of the body and you can just barely make out the scale detail on here which is really impressive considering how tiny this model is and speaking of i think i'm going to measure up this model so in terms of the length you're looking at about 14 centimeters and in terms of the height uh, at the tip of the parietals we're looking at around about seven centimeters exactly. So overall, I think this is a solid little ceratopsid model of a very obscure genus. Granted, we now have uh, the Beasts of the Mesozoic models, but I think for a long time, this was the only Xenoceratops model, and it's still really good. Aside from the minor inaccuracy of the hind feet, this is a solid model, and I recommend picking it up Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.